Hi guys, welcome to Taste to Explore. My name is Darlene and today my friends, I'm bringing you a classic Dominican dish. We are making habichuelas con dulce, which it translates to sweet beans. It's basically like a pudding, but a little looser than a pudding, but it's absolutely delicious. It has so much flavor. It's like, it's sweet. A little bit you know you can control the sugar in there um, it has such wonderful warm spices we got some ginger going on in there and cloves and a whole bunch of other delicious ingredients that I'm gonna and you can through. do this um, a day in advance just to give yourself some time but other than that too it's not hard at all and I'm gonna walk you through it so stick around as we go over the really basic ingredients to get this classic dish started. Okay guys, so let's begin. Right here I have a one pound bag of Dominican red beans. This is what's called in the, um, in the bag. So what this is, is like the small red beans. If you can't find the ones in your, uh, supermarket that says Dominican red beans just buy the small red beans not the large ones and you're gonna need a pound of this and I just rinsed it off and you're just gonna want to look through it to see if there's any pebbles or anything that doesn't look and like right here I have there. a stock pot you're gonna want at least a medium sized pot or a large sized pot um, you just want to fill it with water and we're just going to cook the beans down for about an hour to an hour so right and a half. Just have some plain cold water. You're just going to want to fill up your water um, a little bit more than halfway. We're not going to keep all the water. We're probably going to reserve about a cup or two. I'm going to tell you in the end. But right now we're just going to put the beans in here. Allow it to just be submerge all the way down. While this is boiling, the water actually reduces a bit. So you do want a significant amount of water so you don't have to keep on putting more water in here. So I'm gonna put this on the stove and I'll be back when this is all done. All right guys, so my beans took about an hour and a half to cook down and get nice and soft and creamy on the inside. And that's what you're gonna want to do. That is the most, in my opinion, that is super time assuming is waiting for those beans to get done. But if you want, you can take a step ahead and do, and do those a night before. Um, that's a process that you can't change, so don't try this with canned beans because it's not going to work. You need the fresh stuff. All right, so let's continue on with our recipe. All right, so here is my beans and they're all done. I'm gonna show you with one. They're soft and when you squeeze them, it's really creamy on the inside and that's exactly what you want. Mm -mm -mm. They're delicious. Now, right here I have just a cup and a half from the batch. What I want in my pudding is a little bit of texture. That's a total preference up to you. If you want, you can cream everything all together and just uh, forget about this or you can just reserve about a cup and a half just to give a little texture to the mixture. And these are what's gonna go into a blender. We're gonna, you're gonna need a blender. And I reserved from the bean stalk about two cups you're gonna need around roughly one or two cups and then that's it now let's all right guys so let's begin right in my blender I'm gonna put in my you do beans. this your beans are totally totally cooled off completely you never want to work with overly hot food you know you don't want to risk getting burned bean or anything stalk. Like it's not, I don't want to um, I don't want to make Alright, so I had put in before half 
about three fourths cup I'm just putting in the remaining cup because it looks like I'm not gonna need too much of the liquid so you're gonna wanna you know roughly estimate it depending on how you like your um, your pudding to be the stock pot that we had before and you don't even have to rinse it out if you don't want to I had because I thought I was gonna use another pot but I'm like you know what let me use the same pot as before so you can leave it how it is you're gonna need a mesh um, strainer because we're going to strain out all the bean skins all right so after you retrieve all that good stuff just press through with your fine mesh make sure that you use it because it's really what's going to help to press through the cream okay so right now we just have the skins left and all the cream is under you right after that and you scrape down the cream. This is the cream now that had attached attached itself to the strainer. You just want to brush all that good stuff off because that's the stuff that we're going to need. And look, this is what's left. This is the cream of the beans. Now it don't look like much, but it will. It'll come together beautiful so I have here my reserved a cup and a half of beans like I told you before I have here some fresh ginger I'm not gonna use the whole thing I'm only gonna use about a teaspoon or so this goes according to taste fresh is always stronger so start off small and then work your way up I have here half a cup of light brown sugar but I have which is here, like a sweet potato it's like a white sweet potato I have here two boxes which they're one ounce each of raisins and that's optional I have here two sticks of cinnamon some vanilla to taste about two tablespoons I mean sorry two teaspoons then I have here one can of coconut milk one can of evaporated milk one can of sweet condensed milk now for my spices I have here um, a half a teaspoon of cloves and a half a teaspoon of allspice um, and then I have two tablespoons of salted butter and I'm gonna omit the salt because the salt and the butter is good enough for you or all, all you're gonna need is butter pinch now this is all that I'm gonna be using today and now all right guys so right let's begin it. I have my stove on a low and I'm just warming up the the cream of beans right now and now I'm gonna be putting in all the goodness right into the pots we're gonna put in and it doesn't matter of the order we're gonna put in the coconut milk all of it and make sure it's coconut milk and not cream of coconut because we're gonna we're gonna be adding sugars in here already and you don't want to overly sweeten it so be careful for that and then the condensed milk yum out okay now it might look a little bit watery right now but as this cooks down it's going to thicken Okay, so don't you worry whatsoever. My spices, and the I'm vanilla leave. extract for last, because that tends to burn out. So the, the two um, cinnamon right, guys, sticks. So after the spices, I'm going to put in my uh, brown sugar. Now remember, everything is according to taste. You definitely want to taste as you and go. See how sweet you want this to be and how spicy you want this to be you can certainly add more spices if you like or less in case you don't like cinnamon or or uh, ground cloves you know you can certainly put 
whatever spices that you right, guys, have so, on hand. The just so that way you can see this better, I changed my pot around to something a little bit more uh, smaller, but yet wide enough to fit all this lovely mixture. Now I'm going to add my two pounds of patata and I put it into bite-sized pieces. This is going to help um, this mixture get nice and thick. And it's also going to give in a little bit of sweetness. And I do have like a like one inch or half an inch of fresh ginger. You can grate it if you want. Or you can put it in as whole and then fish it out All later. And remember that we reserved some beans. So I'm going to give a smash with the fork. Or you can use your hands, whatever you like. Some in here. This is also going to thicken up the mixture. And okay. you can put as little or as much as you want. I'm going to try with three big hefty spoons and just stir it and just give it a look. I might want more. I might want less. All right, so I'm putting in the rest of my bean mixture that was smashed up for some texture and thickness. And all we waiting is, like I told you, just for the... Sweet potatoes to get nice and soft. It's getting sort of thick. So that's a lot of going to use one box. Because I really don't like a lot of raisins in the butter. Desserts. Now this is salted butter. So I don't have to add any salt in here. But if you're going to use unsalted butter, just put a pinch and so balance out the flavors. Uh, two. Two teaspoons. You can't go wrong with vanilla extract. So stir that in, and I'm just waiting for this to reduce a little bit, get thick a little bit, and once the potatoes are done, then that's it. It's really that's it. That's all it is to it. Stir all right, guys. This is all done. It took about I would say 30 minutes altogether to do, but I had it on a medium low. So you just want to be careful with that it doesn't burn and you're constantly stirring it every 10 minutes or so and you'll be okay. This will be done. It's nice and semi thick when it cools off completely. Alright guys, so this will go great with some galletas de, de leche which are milk cookies. Very similar to animal crackers if you can't find these which you can certainly find them. In your local um, Hispanic supermarkets, that's a, a definitely must. And all you do is just place a few on oh, this delicious, delicious dessert like soup, and then that's it. It's really good, it's rich, it's creamy. You can smell all the spices and the coconut, and oh my god, it is phenomenal. And, uh, and the patatas, which is the sweet, the white sweet potatoes are nice and soft. I cannot wait. All right guys, to give it a it's try. a pleasure of making this for you. This is dynamite. If you ever had it before, now you know how to make it. If you never had it before, you should make it anyway because it is so so so, so tasty. Gotta give it a taste. And it's Let me give it a blow because it is pretty hot. Mm. 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 Wow, that is phenomenal. You would never think that beans can be used as it a dessert. So, so good. Rich, creamy, filled with awesome spices. And I assure you, you will love it as well. So, thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen. You know, it's always a pleasure of having you cook along with me. A thumbs me. up, this. subscribe, and like. And let me know what you would like me to make next, especially for the Easter season. I'm in my kitchen and I'm coming up with some ideas, but I would love to hear from all of you. Until next time, my friends, I'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.